As long as we are striving to prove something, there is going to be competition and conflict. When we move to that slightly altered space of awareness, just a slightly altered space of awareness, I am not here to prove. I am here to be. I'm here to express. I'm here to, to, to remember God loves me. I am love. I'm here to do that. And then go about your business. And then go about your business. You don't have to become the minister. You don't have to become the missionary. Be God expressing as flute player, or as accountant. Be God expressing as all of these things. Don't you think our world would love that? Wouldn't it be great? For, wouldn't you love a God-filled bill collector? <laughs> hey, I know you're perfect. You just kind of forgot, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. What's well, working out? God. Awareness. Aware I am perfect. Aware you are perfect. Everybody take a breath. Mm -hmm. I am a perfect being learning to express in the world of matter. What was our affirmation? Every step I take, I take with God. Every step I take, I take with God. And do you think as we're taking that step with God, God's going, hey, hey, rotten kid. You know, hey, you didn't do that so good last time. Do you think you're getting criticized with every step? No, God's got you. Holding you by the hand, lifting you up, going, okay, take a breath now. Come on, you're, you can do it. <laughs> Remember who you are. Trying to lift us up. You guys know what it feels like to feel empty, don't you? I hate feeling empty. I do not like it. And I make life miserable for Patrick. That's the truth. And I say, I feel so empty. I'm so empty. I miss God. I, I don't feel myself. I'm missing. missing. And I cry. I feel void of life. And then you take a breath. And then you get a Reiki session. Meditate. And then you feel your spirit again. And in a matter of moments from empty. You can be completely full when you accept and allow yourself to be divine. When we feel empty and we feel unworthy, there's no divinity that can move through there. <coughs> but if we can shift our thought and begin to remember, I am perfect, I am perfect in spirit. I am a perfect spirit of God. I'm a perfect child of God. I And do you know what perfect means, by the way? It doesn't mean I know everything means whole and complete. I'm not broken. I'm whole and complete. I'm a perfect child of God. I've been here many times. I've done so many things. God loves me deeply and dearly, and I am here by divine appointment to share the light. However that sharing comes, I'm a perfect child of God. And they did say, a lot of people who go to listen to people who have near-death experiences are really seeking to connect with reassurance that people who do cross over are still okay. I do readings often for people to, try to talk with a relative on the other side for them so they can get their final hello goodbyes and, and uh, dialogue on. But the reality is people who have near-death experiences, what shifts within them is their identity. They no longer identify themselves as Joe and Myrtle's kid, as worker, mom, or dad. They identify themselves as spirit. And you don't have to go through that near death experience to shift your identity. You just have to want to. Y'all want to shift it? Yes. Let's take a moment. What you feel? Father, Mother, God, our Creator, my heart is open. Bless all those in this room. 
And I ask that a beautiful umbrella of light just engulf this church this morning. I welcome all of our angels, the angels that work with our awakening and our awareness. And I want each one of you just to begin to feel you're in a safe space. Your body is physically safe. And now imagine a beautiful column of light that comes over you. Separating you from everyone else in the room. Just you and God. Imagine you can lift into the beautiful light you see just a little bit. Lifting up perhaps to a beautiful cloud or whatever vision comes for you of safety and peace. A place where your spirit knows. Some of you may be lifted to a meadow. Some just up to a rock or a cloud. Wherever you have gone, let yourself be there. And I want you just to feel the energy all around you. And I want you to notice that in this space, not so far above your earthly life, there is no agenda. There is nothing you have to do to be valued. Nothing you have to say to be accepted. And breathe in that peace. And imagine, if you will, the presence of Jesus the Christ coming forward. <coughs> and feel the energy of love elevate as he nears and see the love in his eyes. And be aware as he puts his hand out and takes yours, brother, sister, he welcomes you as his family. And as you look into his eyes, I want you to begin to remember. I have seen those eyes before. There are the eyes of eternal love. They are my eyes as well. And let the Christ touch your heart, and as he does, begin to remember your spirit. I am child of God. Feel strings of energy moving through your body. Feel far away from that earthly life. As you just focus on the life, focus on the love. I am perfect. I am perfect. I am the perfect son or daughter of the living God. Feel the love pouring through you. And hold that hand of Jesus Christ and feel the oneness, one in this place. And imagine from where you are, you can look down and see the fabric of your life on the earth. And you can feel the love of Jesus Christ sending his energy to that fabric. God did not send you there to hurt. God did not send you there to be uncomfortable. You were sent there to express. And from this vantage point, take a deep breath and send love to that fabric of your mind. You don't even have to get involved in the details, just send love. Fill it with light. And we ask grace now to move through that life fabric, that love begin to alter and correct anything that needs to be corrected. 
Look back at the eyes of Christ. Feel your love for God. Your love for the Christ. And your love for everyone who is in that fabric of your life. And feel gratitude. I thank you, God, that I have this beautiful life to play in. I am a perfect child of God. Take a breath. Feel the Christ with you. But you know it's time to come back to that fabric. So very gently, know that you can come back to this space. It's not very far above. Very gently begin to leave, coming down your column of life, back into your physical body. And as you sit in your chair with your eyes closed, Send a message to the very cells of this vehicle. I love you, vehicle. Thank you for allowing me to express through you. And today, today, we are expressing the perfect love of God. Feel your spirit moving all the way down to the toes, flooding through your body. We love you, God, and we thank you. Take a breath. Gently open your eyes. If you can, repeat after me. My spirit is perfect. My spirit is perfect. I am a perfect child of God. I am a perfect child of God. So, 